The IP09PHK is a 4-port PoE extender that allows you to transmit video from up to 4 cameras back to a network switch or NVR using a single Ethernet cable. It supports multiple power supply options, providing up to 30 watts of power output per port, making installation more efficient and cost-effective. This device is ideal for large-scale surveillance scenarios, such as roads, shopping malls, amusement parks, and parking lots, offering a seamless solution for integrating CCTV systems. In this video, we'll guide you through three key sections to help you maximize the use of the IP09PHK. Accessories Overview When you unbox the IP09PHK set, you'll find 1 IP09PH 1 IP09PR 2 56 volt power adapters For this demo, we'll use the following additional items 4 PoE cameras 1 PoE switch, or Ethernet switch 492 feet of CAT5E Ethernet cable A computer or NVR Installation steps Step 1, connecting cameras Connect the four cameras to the IP09PH using CAT5E cables Use a CAT5E cable to connect the IP09PH to the IP09PR Connect the IP09PR to your PoE switch. Finally, connect the PoE switch to the computer. Step 2. Understanding power supply and connecting the power adapter. Next, let's explain how to provide stable and efficient PoE power. There are three methods to power PoE devices. Method 1, using a PoE switch. In this setup, the PoE switch provides power, so there's no need to connect additional adapters. However, this method is recommended only if your devices consume minimal power, or you're using a PoE switch with high power output. Let's take the commonly used PoE switch as an example. The user manual indicates that extending power to 328 feet via a PoE switch provides only 16.6 watts of total power for all connected devices due to transmission loss. This makes it less efficient. For stable power output, we recommend the next two methods. Method 2, using the IP09PR. In this scenario, connect a 56 volt 120 watt power adapter to the IP09PR as the primary power source. This is ideal for installations where the total extension distance is under 1,640 feet. For example, at 328 feet, the total power output to all PoE devices is 48.6 watts. At 656 feet, the total power output is 34.5 watts. Method 3, using the IP09PH. In this scenario, Connect a 56 volt 120 watt power adapter directly to the IP09PH as the main power source. This is suitable for installations exceeding 1640 feet or for high power PoE devices like PTZ cameras. The advantage of using the IP09PH is that the power output remains unaffected by the extension distance. However, note that the PoE protocol for the output ports on the IP09PH supports 802.3IT. This means it's recommended to use PoE devices with a power consumption of 30 watts or less. According to the PSE and PD compatibility chart in the user manual, the IP09PH supports IEEE 802.3IT and provides an output of up to 30 watts. Devices connected to the IP09PH generally receive a stable power supply of 25.5 watts. To ensure optimal performance, confirm that your PoE devices are compatible with this power level. If you determine that using the IP09PH is necessary for stable power delivery, you can replace the IP09PR PoE version with the IP-only IP09R to reduce project costs. However, make sure a reliable PoE power source, such as a PoE switch or power adapter, is available for your receiving devices. Conclusion The IP09PHK offers flexible installation options. You can connect multiple surveillance feeds into one network switch and choose the best power supply method for your setup. 
Additionally, the IP09PH supports PoE over coaxial cables, making it an excellent choice for projects that use existing coaxial infrastructure. This feature allows you to easily upgrade to network cameras for seamless integration in your projects.